Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be building and demoing this multi-effects module here. It's based on the DSP99 uh, karaoke board that you see a lot of on AliExpress. I think it's like 15 bucks for the little multi-effects board and then I just downloaded the Gerber files off from this Mod Wiggler forum which I'll leave the link to in the description below. Uh, and then I just kind of followed like some tips that other people were saying. I think one of the potentiometers is backwards or at least um, I flipped it around because it made more sense to me but yeah so i'm not sure which one because i built this like forever ago and i thought i lost the footage but i actually like just found it so now i'm uploading it but i don't remember all the <laughs> finer details so forgive me also just so you're aware um one thing that i do remember is that i had to get an aluminum panel for this one because the silk screen uh wasn't going to show up on a pcb panel um at least that's what it looked like in the gerber views and stuff for the files so just be aware of that and i think it actually turned out to be cheaper for some reason for me so yeah that's cool and obviously when you order any sort of pcbs um, minimum quantity is five so you know if you want to make five of these or just make one or two and give a couple to a friend or do whatever you know that's cool but yeah just be aware of that but this module is really cool so i might honestly build all five and just put them in uh different rack units and stuff i'm just kind of having a hard time Time justifying the $15 price for each of those karaoke boards I kind of usually try to wait till they go on sale for like 10 or 12 and the rest of the components aren't too bad priced there's a couple off amps they recommend you use but I believe you can replace them with TL072 like no problem so just take a look at the forum and the bill of materials as well as the schematic and you can kind of figure it all out from there it's not too hard of a build um, there's a couple like weird things with um, how you connect things but other than that it's it's really not too bad. Uh, there's a big voltage regulator. I put a heat sink on mine. Um, I'm not sure if it really matters, but it does get pretty hot. So I put like a tiny heat sink. I just bought like a huge pack of like a hundred of them on Amazon for I think like 15 bucks. Cause I noticed with a lot of other uh, DIY builds, they have a lot of big five and nine volt regulators that are unheat synced and they get really, really hot. So I usually just slap like a tiny little metal heat sink and it helps like pretty significantly. Overall, I would definitely recommend this build to somebody just looking for some simple effects without getting too crazy uh, there's really no control over like uh, delay speed and stuff like that but this module does have like a wet and dry knob um, like adjustable level so it's pretty nice uh, for what it is you'll see that uh, later here in the demo but first I want to just take some time to say thank you guys for all the recent support we recently hit 500 subscribers um, and I want to keep heading in that direction so feel free to hit that subscribe button um, hit the bell icon to turn on notifications for when I next upload feel free to like the video comment down below if you really like this module if you're gonna build one yourself if you have any suggestions for the next modules that you'd like me to make or if you design modules hit me up on Instagram or comment down below and we can work something out to uh, get your build featured on here but without further ado here is the DSP 99 demo